hello lovely friends and family a warm welcome back to my channel again so it's sunday i hope you're all having a fantastic sunday okay and we are going to be doing very simple recipe a recipe where all the ingredients are at one place okay simple so we're making some garden eggs stew or nyandwa abumu anase and torwa froy okay this is a very very traditional dish and it is ever so delicious so i hope you enjoy this video so let's get into it So as always our ingredients okay so i have some yam some plantain i have some kobe momone okay then i have some chilies that's my garden eggs okay some tomatoes right onions and then some avocado or in ghana we call that pear okay so we're going to be combining all these things into a very very good dish okay so my onions and that is my momone which is like you know my momone paste a kobe plantain and the yam i also have some um, red oil this one is the one that came from the soup the palm nut soup so mkwango and now mkwango eningo as equipments will say okay so first let's prep our garden eggs okay so we're going to be cooking our garden eggs so what i do is i chop off all the head cut them into two and all, it all goes into the saucepan right okay so we set it on fire and we allow it to boil i had some from the freezer with like an old batch so i added it to it then the next thing we do is we and um, peel our yam okay so as um if you're familiar with yams you see that sometimes it start to get rotten especially in heat okay so it doesn't mean you should throw everything away you can just go around it by removing all the bad or the rotten and um, bait and then you still have um excellent yam delicious yam so that's what i just did removed all the bad bits and then yeah i just um cut them into my desired sizes so however you want to cut it yeah and then we go on to peel the plantains okay so with the plantains what i do because um usually when i'm back home i'll get a proper apem that is i mean perfect for this recipe but because i don't have it i use the apem too apem too is what we normally use for the fufu and so because of that i have to cut them into smaller sizes and i cook them for a very short time so that um, i get that same texture and the same experience when i'm eating the apem okay so i'm adding salt and i've washed my yam okay so we'll start boiling the yams first because the yams are firmer and they are harder it takes longer to cook in a way because of the way i want my plantain because this is not the normal one so i've checked on my garden eggs and it is ready to go right in the meantime we have to prep our other ingredients our tomatoes and the kobe so um in ghana we would have put this in the fire in the coal pot but i don't have it so i'm using my stove so i've put this net on it and then i'm going to be charring the tomatoes so just a little bit for it for the and the skin to soften a bit so once i see that it breaks and some of the juices is coming out i take it out because i don't want too much mess okay to give me that charred flavor and i'm going to do the same for my kobe and as I, it was on the net i felt like ah this thing is wasting my time let me do it directly on fire charlie just let me show you so so yeah so i'm trying to char the kobe as much as possible and that is it cooked it's finished all that i need to do now is i'm going to put that in water okay and i'll wash all the black bits away from me the charred bits away from me then i'll leave it in water to soak to take out some of the salt because it this is very salty and also to remove you know you have to wash it thoroughly to remove the salt from the guts and everything if, if you're familiar with kobe you know what i'm talking about so i'm going to let it sit in this water as i prep the other ones i mean like i'm still washing it literally just you know make sure you wash it nicely and then i let it sit whilst i cook the others so yeah so my yam is boiling or oh, it is on fire and it's not boiling yet it's just on fire and i'm going to be grinding my onions and my 
chilies so the pepper i'm adding some sea salt you know the rock salt it helps to grind your ingredients because of it gives that cause surface friction takes place just like me size can crave in a me you know in a me name say home about for so i'm busy sure friction in our it makes the grinding easier okay so i'm going to be grinding this and i'll add the tomatoes then we'll add the garden eggs and that is it just say there's no much cooking all that you need to cook is your yams and plantains really this is the fastest that is why it is on sunday because that is simple simple sunday recipe just say okay come on my own okay so i'm going to grind the tomatoes as well and then i'll add the gardener so as you can see i've left some of the um chilies on the side those ones i'm going to be frying it with my momoni okay in the meantime once my yam boils these yams they cook very very quickly once it boils i add my plantain and once that also boils then to me it's ready because i don't want the plantain to be very soft okay so then um that, those plantains i will just transfer them from the from there into cold water to stop the cooking so that i don't get very mushy uh, i don't get any mushy um plantain a, 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 a plantain brodia so so brodia so if you don't get it the sunsona you, you you just make do with what you have so i added my more money to the um the mixture that i'm grinding over there i'm blending it all together so i'm going to add all the garden eggs and then i'll grind it to be fair with this one you can even use the back of a spoon to just crush it you don't need if you don't have all this in the bowl use the back of the spoon or a fork to crush it because garden eggs it, it is so soft when you boil it it's easy and you are not you are not targeting the seeds okay we are just trying to uh, you know to remove the seeds or to grind the seeds to be smooth no we are just breaking it down so that we we, we don't just chew and one so that is it done i don't need to go any further okay so my plantain and my yams now i can see it's ready so i take it off the fire drain the hot water from me and then as you can see i'm going to transfer the plantains into the water as i said if you know you know <laughs> I say you mean I mean why? We be now one and me my home commentary. They be me name me my pa. Don't mind me, guys. Okay, so I'll set that one aside and um, it cools down. Okay, so in the frying pan I'm adding my oil. Okay, my red oil. Engo engo koko ana ingo. Okay, so this one yung kwen ingo. So I add my onions and my chilies. Okay, once it's nicely hot, it's melted and it's hot enough. Okay, so then I add my some of my money paste to give it that flavor more flavor okay so i'm going to fry it and once um, my onions are nicely fried i'll just pour this onto my um garden eggs and that is it simply that is just a no, 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 a bean. i'm going to pour it and i will mix it so that some of the oil will go under and stuff like that and that is all it is for this recipe okay so uh, the next thing is we i'll add either you eat it from a different plate i mean your yams and your plantain or you put your the whole yam and plantain in the ayua asanka or the earthen well bowl or the black thing that the stew is inside no uh-huh and that is what i'm going to be doing I'm, i'll put everything in there and i'll eat from there so that is our food and i added some eggs and this is it okay i am so grateful to you i hope you're having a fantastic sunday thank you for joining me please don't forget to like this video share and subscribe and i'll definitely see you in the next one bye